going to start off with a little activity. So I need all of you guys to put your right finger out and your, or this is my right finger, and your left thumb up. And then when I say switch, put your left finger out and your right thumb up. So like, switch, 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 switch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now um, take your right finger and put it on your nose, and then take your left arm and put, cross it over your um, arm and put it on your ear, and then when I say switch, try and switch it to like this way. <laughs> switch. 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 I can do this one because I'm going to cross off. Okay. So now that we're done with that, the reason I had you do that is because anytime you cross the midline of your body, which is down the middle, um, you engage the other side of your brain, uh, which increases your ability to learn. Um, recent research <laughs> links show that learning uh, the exercise before uh, exercise um, helps you learn better. Uh, I do not concentrate when I have not been active for the day, and I was actually just talking to a student the other day who I picked Pilates, and she was telling me how she didn't show up one day for class, and it actually affected her throughout the day, and she didn't focus as well in, in class, and she had a harder time learning. So, not only does exercise benefit you physically, it can also increase your ability to learn and create new brain development. So I'm going to talk to you about how exercise boosts the brain and how the range of, and the range of benefits and how we can apply it. Aerobic exercise is any exercise where you can talk and still get your target heart rate. And 30 minutes a day is what they recommend. <coughs> it creates brain-deriving brain neurotrophic factors, which um, is a protein that builds and maintains brain transmission. It increases our brain's ability to send and receive messages. John Rady's hypothesis that exercise enhances school performance is supported by emerging research shown, showing that physical activity um, sparks biological changes that encourage brain cells to bind one another. For the brain to learn, these connections must be made. They reflect the brain's fundamental ability to adapt to challenges. The benefits um, can be great. Uh, Naperville, yeah. Illinois High School, they did an experiment by putting a PE class before the classes which kids struggle most in, um, such as math and, PE, or math and science. And the students improve significantly in both areas <coughs> by having PE first. It makes the students, one of the students said it made her learn better because by exercising it made her brain have to focus on something. So later on, it was easier for her to learn why she was um, in class. Exercise affects the hippocampus. Which is this blue part. Uh, it affects that part of your brain. And it, um, it actually increases and promotes the growth of new brain cells, which influences learning. So this is a normal day for most of us in class. And then this is kids getting up to the brain break, which is known to be beneficial in helping you learn throughout the day. How we can apply this to students' learning. If they do not have a PE class during the day, then interactive um, games and even just like a little break of getting up and walking around in the classroom can help to refocus and um, increase the learning. So that way you're getting up and you're crossing that midline so you're making you're making the connection with your mind and body. Not focusing on the physical benefit of exercise, these student these studies have shown the important link to physical activity and improved learning. For the best re for the best results, you should do aerobic activity at, uh, daily. And the school in Illinois is a good example 
of how that can be applied, and it does make a difference. If PE is not offered, teachers can use simple brain break activities to refocus learning in classroom. Um, it is inactivity kills our brains. Physically, our brains are shriveling up due to lack of activity. Exercise cues the building blocks of learning in the brain. So next time you're struggling to focus, get up, walk around, and you'll probably learn better.